The YouTube algorithm has just changed and if you don't adapt the type of content you're creating, how many times you're posting a day, and a few other secret things that I share with you towards the end of this video, you're gonna see a huge decrease in both the amount of views and the amount of subscribers that you're currently gaining. That being said, if you simply implement the six step blueprint that I'm about to share with you in this video, you're gonna see a massive increase in the amount of views and the amount of subscribers that you're getting. I just helped this creator gain 100,000 subscribers in just 30 days. This creator, 100,000 subscribers in 30 days, and this creator, over 150,000 subscribers in just a 30 day period and the same exact thing can happen to you if you simply implement the blueprint that I'm about to share with you. First and foremost, you guys need to understand that a huge change just happened on YouTube. Now when you search for something on YouTube on the mobile app, you're able to decipher between whether you want to see long form content or short form content. Now what does this mean? This means that there is a huge opportunity to rank for search results with short form content. There are a lot of content creators out there or content viewers out there that do not want to watch long format videos. Instead, they want to watch short format videos. So this is a huge area where you can begin to optimize. Whether you're a small channel, a big channel, it doesn't matter. You guys need to take advantage of YouTube shorts for search. A lot of people are emphasizing YouTube shorts in the recommendations feed, in the shorts bar, but now search is becoming a huge part of YouTube because you guys need to understand something. YouTube is the second largest search engine. In addition to that, if you look something up on Google right now, a bunch of TikToks show up. In the future, a bunch of YouTube shorts are going to show up because Google is obviously going to prioritize that over TikTok content. And this is another huge change that is coming within the YouTube and Google ecosystem. Now, there are tons of other things you also need to be doing, like changing the how many times you're posting a day. I'm also gonna be sharing with you how to get more views on your long form content from your short form content, because it was also another huge update to YouTube's algorithm with that. But before we could dive into that, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you wanna grow quicker on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, I literally upload a video about how to grow on these platforms every single day. In addition to that, I created a free YouTube growth course. You can get it at the link in the pinned comment below. It's gonna share with you things like the best time to post on YouTube right now with this current algorithm and the best hashtags to use on YouTube in order to get a lot more views. So please make sure you get into that. It is 100% free and you can find it down at the link in the pinned comment below. The second huge change that happened is you can now clip long form piece of content on YouTube to create shorts. Now there are a ton of really cool things that you could do with this. First and foremost, when you clip something, the video that you're uploading as a short has to be 60 seconds long, but you can include five seconds from your video, 10 seconds from your video, 15 seconds from your video, and then record the rest of the short on your camera. You'll still be able to edit it the same way that you can edit a short. And then at the end of the short, it's going to link to that long form piece of content. What does this mean? This means that you should be creating shorts content content on the things that you did with long form content. And if you are doing two different types of content between your long form content and your shorts content, that's why you're not seeing the views go back and forth. A lot of creators right now, they'll comment below. They'll say things like, Rob, I got a ton of subscribers, a ton of views on shorts, but nobody's viewing my long form content. And then I go and look at the actual long form content they're creating, and it has absolutely nothing to do with their shorts. If you're going to create a YouTube channel, you need to niche down. You need to make sure that whatever you're creating shorts content about, it's the same thing for long form. Whatever you're creating long form content about, it's the same thing for shorts. This it's what's going to allow you to monetize the most on YouTube and it's going to allow you to grow the most on YouTube. Now, there are three other things that we need to cover with this current YouTube algorithm and these last three things that I'm about to share with you are by far the most important. These are the things that if you get them right are going to allow you to grow quicker and if you don't get them right, it's going to be the difference between you staying a small channel forever or you being able to take advantage of this moment in time where it is easier than ever before to grow on YouTube. You heard that right. As a small channel right now on YouTube, or as a large channel, it is easier to grow than it ever has been before if you simply implement the three things that I'm about to share with you next. First and foremost, if you're not posting a long form piece of content, you should be uploading two to three shorts piece of content a day for every day that you're not uploading long form content. In addition to that, if you have long form content on your page or you have another short that would be a good video for somebody to watch if they're watching a current short, put it in the pinned comment and make sure that you give them a good reason to go watch that video next. The reason being is because YouTube is currently optimizing for how long people spend on YouTube as a whole and how your channel contributes to that. So for example, if somebody goes onto YouTube, sees one of your videos, and then watches another one of your videos, that is going to push your videos out even more. If you get them to watch three of your videos, even more. Four of your videos, even more. And that is what the most successful channels on YouTube are doing right now. And that is how you're going to be successful on YouTube. And like I said, the way to do that with YouTube Shorts is by putting a video or putting something in the pinned comment below and telling people to watch the next thing at the end of your video. Have that call to action at the end of your video. Because if you put it in the beginning of your video or in the middle of your video, people are 
are going to swipe away. It is going to destroy your session time. But if you put it at the end, it's fine. That person already got value from that video. They got entertainment. They got some kind of information. And now you're telling them what to do next. That's totally fine. I strongly suggest you guys implement this. In addition to that, there are two other things you need to be changing. And those two things that you need to be changing come down to the titles that you're choosing, the thumbnail that you're choosing, which ultimately is going to affect your click-through rate and your average view duration. And then the third thing is your average view duration. We need to talk about average view duration. If you're posting on YouTube Shorts less than 30 seconds, you need to aim for 100%. If you're posting on YouTube Shorts 31 to 60 seconds, you need to be aiming for 80%. If you're posting long-form content, in the first 60 seconds of your video, you need at least 70% of people still watching. Ideally, you should should be getting at least 50% watch time on your long form piece of content. If it's an eight minute video, a 10 minute video, be aiming for 50%. If it's a two minute video, a three minute video, it needs to be even higher. We're talking 70% throughout the whole entire video. But the key thing that you should be optimizing towards is 70% in the first 60 seconds for long form content. And like I said, with the short form content, under 30 seconds, 100%, over 30 seconds, 80%. If you guys focus on that kind of watch time, you will increase the amount of views that you get because ultimately, the only thing that YouTube cares about is keeping people on the platform. If you're a small channel and can keep people on the platform. If you're a large channel and can keep people on the platform. If you're a new creator and can keep people on the platform, well then guess what? YouTube is going to push out your content. You're going to get more subscribers. You're going to rank and search. You're going to get more recommended videos out. And you need to understand that YouTube is a game of momentum. However many views you get this week, you're going to get seven times the amount of impressions or eligible views next week. What does that mean? That means if you have a good week this week, next week's videos need to be even better so that your account continues to grow like this. If they're worse next week, well then you're gonna waste that opportunity and it's gonna be really hard for you to be able to get that momentum back, which is another reason you need to make sure that you're uploading consistently to YouTube. So many creators make this mistake. Big creators make this mistake, small creators make this mistake. Let me give you an example. I went on vacation. This was about three months ago. And I told my editor, I said, hey, we don't have to upload a video tomorrow. We're gonna to be traveling, it's no big deal. Normally, I upload a video Monday to Friday. I've literally been doing that for years. Decided to take one day off. It destroyed the amount of views. It destroyed the amount of subscribers that I gained for the next three months. It took me that long to get that momentum back. So please, when you have momentum on YouTube, do not take it for granted. That is the time that you need to double down. It might have been a title that worked. It might have been a topic that worked. Whatever it is, you need to be doubling down on that because ultimately, that's what's going to make you successful successful on YouTube. Now, if you've never had some kind of advantage, never gotten any momentum, or you haven't been able to capitalize on it, I wanna help you grow on YouTube, and I wanna guarantee that I can help you get more subscribers the same way that you saw the three examples in the beginning of this video. Each of them gained 100,000 subscribers in just 30 days, literally got a YouTube plaque in 30 days. I wanna help you do the same exact thing. I wanna tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what topics to use, how to critique your content to guarantee that you get more subscribers on YouTube. If that sounds interesting, then keep watching this video. Finally, I just launched my YouTube Shorts Mentorship Program, which guarantees that I can help you grow on YouTube in just 30 days. If you wanna find out more, go to the link in the description, but to put it simply, you're gonna go through six steps to becoming a YouTube Shorts expert. Then I'm gonna make you a personalized plan. I'm gonna tell you exactly what to post, what titles to use, what thumbnails to use, what descriptions to use, what tags to use, what your content should actually look like, how your editing should be, and so much more. And then for the next 30 days, I'm gonna critique your content to guarantee that you grow. It's incredibly simple. If you don't grow on YouTube in the 30 days, I'm gonna give you your money back, zero questions. This is not just a course. This is not just information. It's me actually telling you exactly what to do, critiquing you, consulting, me coaching you on how to be a full-time YouTuber, how to grow on YouTube, how to reach your goals on YouTube. And again, if you don't grow on YouTube in the 30 days, you get your money back, zero questions asked. There's absolutely no risk for signing up. The only risk is not taking advantage of this situation right now with YouTube shorts and growing on YouTube. So please do not be somebody that does that. That being said, if you're not interested, just watch the next two videos I'm gonna put up on the screen because they're the videos that YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.